So we are going to talk about immunity today, and we're going to start with the innate immunity. And I would like to squeeze kind of all the innate immunity in one maybe 30-40 minutes video, so we can move on to adaptive. So what you need to know here, so innate immunity, before we actually move there, some things to consider, uh, I talk a little bit in my lecture, like a big lecture, about intrinsic uh, uh, responses, intrinsic protection. Uh, intrinsic protection, it's chemical and mechanical barriers, okay? So just, just have a general idea, like, you know, skin is dry. This is the, the physical barrier to microorganisms. Stomach is acidic as well as vaginal mucosa. It's also acidic. So in this case, it's a chemical barrier. Am I clear? Mucosa traps pathogens, physical barrier. Cilia move, uh, not muco, mucus, cilia move mucus, um, kind of propelling it away from the lungs, for instance. Another example of physical barrier. Those are pretty straightforward concepts that originate like from AP2 mostly, okay? Have an idea where is what. I'm not going to ask any tripping questions, but like don't try to convince me that we have, I don't know, acidic mucosa on the skin, something like that, okay? Now, innate immunity. Immunity that is already, is already there, okay? So what are the kind of advantages and disadvantages? It is fast. Okay, it is rather non-specific, meaning uh, there is no immunological memory. Okay, and usually the responses are local. Although you know, there is an argument to, uh, to this. So, what do you need to know? I want you to know the cells of the innate immunity first of all. So, white blood cells. And we can divide them into two categories. So white blood cells, there are granulocytes. So three categories. Neutrophils. Eosinophils. And basophils. I'm going to, well, yeah, we're going to talk about... So neutrophils, the main target is bacteria. Eosinophils, uh, eukaryotic parasites uh, like fungi, protozoa, or helminths. Eosinophils, um, the general role is to promote inflammation. Now, what do you need to know? There's a table in the lecture notes, okay? Are you following? There's a table with the main targets and mechanisms that those cells utilize, okay? So, mechanisms like phagocytosis, uh, cellular toxicity. After long deliberation, I'm not going to be asking about neutrophil extracellular traps, which is a shame. Okay, um, cell toxicity. Now, all of them, look, all of them, all of them can promote inflammation. Does that make sense? All of them. So, this is why I kind of, I put here only some distinguishing mechanisms. Now, in the realm of basophils, there's a special category of cells that is called mast cells. So they facilitate inflammation in tissue. So essentially, in certain conditions, the eosinophils, basophils, and mast cells may all participate in the allergic response. Okay, so far, does that make sense? So be familiar with the targets for those three types of cells. They function in general mechanisms. It's all in the table in the first, first page for immunity. Think for, or maybe second page for immunity. Now then you have a set of cells that are called agranulocytes. 
reason for it, they don't have cytoplasmic granules like granulocytes do. So there are two main types here. One type is monocytes. Now, monocytes, when they are exposed to inflammatory stimuli, become macrophages. And macrophages are main phagocytic cells. Okay. They would phagocytose everything. And this is monocytes, not monocytes. Okay, now, um, lymphocytes, which target mostly viruses and cancer cells, they kill virus infected and, and cancer cells by apoptosis. So far, are you following me? Good? Now, which immune response are we talking about? Innate, right? So there are some lymphocytes, many actually lymphocytes, that participate in adaptive responses. We're going to talk about them separately. For innate responses, I want you to be aware of so-called NK cells. NK stands for natural killer cells. So basically, there are four big mechanisms for innate immune protection. Check this out. Phagocytosis. See that? cellular toxicity, and specifically for NK cell, inducing apoptosis, inducing apoptosis of either virus infected or cancer cells. So far, does that make sense? Good? Okay. 